Yeah guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm coming to you today from my office because this is not one of my regular pizza videos. This is the ultimate buyer's guide for your new pizza oven if you're into the market search here. People ask me all the time, hey Hinze, tell me is this oven better for me or that one? With this video, I just want to give you the hard facts for getting a new pizza oven, guys. We'll go through some of the most important pros and cons in the different oven categories. There are in fact so many ways to cook your pizza pies. Actually, this is a real pizza oven jungle out there. So it can be hard to choose the best pizza oven. So let's dive into this, guys, and let's get started. Important notice from me guys, this is not paid content. I do not have any connections to one or more of the companies named here. So this review is totally independent and just based on my years of experience with pizza ovens and pizza. So like, share and subscribe in any case to get my regular pizza and tech updates. So guys, you have clicked this video, so I assume you all know why you are in the market search here for a pizza oven. This is because you'll need very high heat for the real Neapolitan pizza and the usual home ovens can't deliver this heat to a pizza pie. I'd like to divide this video into the different oven types and so I just separate the video into chapters so you can hop around easily between the parts here. Guys, this is a long video, so I do have it set out on my blog as well. So I'll link it in the description below for you once you get tired of me talking to you with my Memoji. The categories we cover here today are the main oven categories you can choose on the market for domestic use right now. We'll not cover professional ovens in this video. We'll start over with an outdoor or indoor oven and cover the outdoor ovens first. We'll then get to the domestic stone ovens, head over to the mobile stone ovens. After this, I'll cover the big mobile stainless steel ovens and we'll get to the smaller ovens like the Unis and the rock boxes and all the other stuff afterwards. I'll finish this video up with the electric indoor ovens and some important things to take into account when you're shopping around for a pizza oven. And of course, I do not forget my picks for all the categories that we discussed here today. So stay tuned until the end of this video, guys. If you're just looking for an Uni oven, I recommend checking out my one year Uni Pro versus two months Coda 16 video here on my channel. I'll link all these in the description below. If you plan to use your oven indoors, you are basically limited to electric ovens or pro ovens with an indoor permission. The easier way to go for sure is an electrical indoor oven, since you'll have to consider many details when using a pro oven in your home or kitchen. So I'll give you a little overview of the electric models at the end of this video because I assume most of you guys are looking for a non-electric outdoor bigger oven here in this video. So if you have the space for an outdoor oven, this is definitely the way to go since cooking outdoors with wood or gas is just great fun, especially in the warm season. It is not that funny in the cold season. You'll know that if you've ever tried to prepare a pizza pie at 5 degrees outside for the oven. Check out my snow pizza Neapolitan style video if you're interested in this. So we'll go through the different kinds of ovens here, starting with the biggest and going down to the smallest. So we'll start with the domestic stone ovens, the really big ones. You can get these in custom built, in fixed built or in assembly kits. You need to finish them up with insulation and a cover. Now the reason why people build or buy such an oven is simple. They just do have an incredible thermal mass you can and have to heat up for an amazing equal heat that cooks your pizza pies or whatever you throw at it. And this is beside the right dough, the perfect ingredients and the right handling, the whole trick to the perfect pizza, guys. So these ovens 
are, if properly built, the holy trinity of pizza ovens. Their thermal characteristics, perfect radiant conduction and convection heat are unmatched and simply the benchmark for a pizza oven. You'll compromise on these characteristics in the other categories, but of course you do gain some advantages in other ways such as handling or mobility. But the hard fact is that you'll trade in the pizza cooking quality for this convenience. Prices vary a lot here. You can get them cheap or very expensive if custom built. I'll list the main pros and the cons here for you. As I said, you can check them out on the blog site as well. Now there are countless manufacturers for such ovens, even like the big names Valeriani and Zio Chiro. You'll best find a local one close to where you live to keep the setup simple if you want to build your own. Generally, if you go down this road and want to build such an oven, you better get some additional know-how. There are literally hundreds of books and videos on YouTube out there and on Amazon dealing with building and finishing up stone ovens. One of the most impressive ones I've ever seen here on YouTube is from the Woodfire Chef. I've linked his site in the description below and in the blog as well. One step down from the big stone ovens are the mobile stone ovens. I'll give you a quick list here of the main manufacturers to consider here. Get one of these ovens if you want the flexibility to move around the unit in your terrace or garden and still want the most out of your oven with a full dome. Check out my full reviews of the Valeriani Baby and Zio Giro 60 and 80 if you want extended detail on this oven category. You guys, we'll now cover the big mobile stainless steel ovens. I'll list a few manufacturers here for you to check out. You'll get one of these if you don't want the weight of a mobile stone oven but still want good insulation and a little more flexible handling. I recap the pros and the cons in this full list here. Guys, the next category are the small mobile domestic stainless steel ovens like the Uni, the Rockbox and so on. This is maybe the most important category for some of you guys because it's very good for getting into the pizza business for the first time. You'll get one of these if you want a reliable partner for getting started with pizza making on a lower budget with no effort. Check out this super long pros and cons list, guys. This says it all. This oven category has so many ups and just some downs that of course do make a little difference on the thermal side of these units, but great overall. There is of course a reason why these ovens are so popular. Very small mobile domestic ovens like the Unifier are not really a class of its own since they are just shrink down versions of their bigger brothers and sisters. I would recommend getting one of these only if you really plan to carry the unit around all the time. But these are actually more like toys as real pizza ovens. It may sound strange, but the smaller such an oven is, the more experience you will have to be to handle the pie correctly. So it may be easier as a beginner to get something like the Coda 16 or the Oni Pro or the Pizza Party Ardore. The latter has become very expensive though over the last two years. It was available for 350 euros and now is about more than double the price. So yeah guys, we'll cover some remarkable issues now before buying a pizza oven. First and foremost is the cooking surface. One problem all people before buying a pizza oven share is that you have to decide on the size of the cooking surface. The key factors for this decision are or should be do you use gas or wood? Much lower space is required when using gas or propane. Do you want a big oven door? Of course, more heat gets lost through a large front opening. What is your preferred pizza size? You can cook small pizzas perfectly fine in almost any of the ovens named here, but it gets harder with 
bigger pizzas like 16 inches or so do not take into account cooking two pies or more at once you will not be quick enough as a beginner and even as an experienced hobby pizzaiolo just leave this up to the pro guys so a surface of 80 by 60 centimeters is okay when you use wood and gas and 60 by 60 centimeters or even 45 by 45 centimeters is enough if you have gas only if you choose a round oven take at least 75 centimeters if you use wood and 60 centimeters of diameter is okay if you just use gas in general round ovens provide a better radiant conduction and convection heat as square ovens if you use wood as a fuel source you may find the indirect flue control like in the alfa forni ovens or in the valeriani or zeros helpful for a flue and heat management when planning your budget keep in mind you'll need some really good equipment for your pizza journey to really enjoy it if you use wood in a stone oven or a stainless steel oven you need more if you just use gas you need less check out this list here since these tools can be really expensive if you buy quality items it may well be a few hundred bucks that you pay on top of your oven there are only a few companies that sell quality stuff here the pro pizzaiolo more or less all rely on a company named Gimetal in Italy. Their online store offers a good variety of all the stuff you usually need in a pro pizzeria environment, but sell it to individuals as well. I can really recommend them. Now, the bigger the cooking surface is the internal space or the dome of the oven, the thicker the stone is, the more fuel you'll need to heat it up. So if you want a big oven, be prepared to get a lot of quality hardwood that is quite expensive or some big bottles of propane. The small and very small ovens do have an advantage here, of course. They usually need about up to the half of the fuel you'll need for a big oven. So we'll finally get back to the electric ovens here. This is just for indoor. You can of course use them outdoors in the summertime as well. I'll list some of these in the order of how much I would recommend them. Check out my pick for the world's best electric indoor oven, the FE1P134H video here. So guys, let's have a quick look into the pizza oven future. Maybe the most anticipated and hard expected unit in this year is the Gosney Dome. Originally, they have been announcing this one for Spring 22. Now their website says Spring 21 for availability in the US and in the UK. This unit is a dual-powered wood and gas oven that fits into the category of mobile stainless steel ovens. From what you can see from the ad images so far, it looks somehow like an oil drum. It seems bigger on the images as it actually is in reality. The cooking surface is only 60 centimeters or 25 inches or so that further decreases when using wood. The thermometer is more or less a toy that you can get cheaper on Amazon. I guess it'll also be hard to load some wood into the hot oven. We'll see how this unit matches the expectations. People go crazy online over this thing. I do not quite share this euphoria. Gosney have raised the bar quite high with their own rocking ad campaign. I assume that the dome will have a rather low thermal stability due to size and weight regulations, so it's somehow a pimped Uni Pro with double the price tag. What's the next big thing from Uni? Maybe they will get out an oven with a turning pizza stone that of course makes it very easy to cook and makes cooking in general more convenient. For now, you can check out my easy rotating pizza stone hack here. So yeah guys, here we are. This is the hardest and most challenging part for this video. 
My Pizzaiolo freak recommendation is to get an electric indoor oven for the winter, a small stainless steel outdoor oven for the occasional pizza party, and a big or mobile stone oven, guys. If you can't go down this road due to space or budget or female limitation, guys, right now the hottest picks from me are the following ovens. I do not have a pick for the big domestic ovens, but you cannot go wrong with the big names here like the Valerianis or the CEO's assembly kits. If and guys, this if is important, you do have the knowledge and the clue to finish these up properly. Just get a book or a pro for this. So as you can see here, I picked the Zio Chiro 80 and the Valeriani Baby Gas in the biggest category. The winner for the big stainless steel oven category is the Alpha Forni Cinque Minuti. For the small mobile ovens, I would absolutely recommend the Uni Pro, as you can check out in my video Uni Pro vs. Coda 16 here on my channel. And finally, guys, my picks for the very small ovens is on the one hand the Rockbox if you want to fire with wood and gas and for the very small ovens when you just want to fire with propane, you gotta get the Unicoda. Guys, this has been it for the video for the ultimate pizza oven buyer's guide here on YouTube. Don't forget to like and share this video if you find it helpful. I hope you find the perfect pizza oven with this video. And as always, guys, have fun making the pizza.